Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making these four wooden top painted tiles for my candy themed Christmas decor. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Enjoy. So the first thing I did, well, I didn't even do it. I asked my husband to cut me four pieces of wood and they're about seven by seven and they're one inch thick. So then I sanded them down to a reasonable amount of sanding because I'm going to be putting a lot of coats of paint on it so they didn't have to be perfect, just not splintery. Then the next step was to take some white acrylic paint and just do a coat of that along the sides and the tops on each piece of wood as sort of a primer. The rest of the paint will do a lot better with a coat of this down. The paint I used as the primer and the other paints I'm going to use for the first coat of paint are all from Shutter Art. And this is the white color. And I'm also going to use the red to make a sort of a pink. So I probably did about two to one on the white to the red to make the pink color. And then I mixed it really well, and then I'm going to do a coat of this pink onto one of the pieces of wood. So the next piece of wood, I'm going to do a light blue. So the Shutter Art Sky Blue, I mixed it the same, probably about the same proportions, two to one of white to light blue or sky blue. Mixed it really well and painted this piece of wood. piece of wood got the green and it is also some of the white this probably was more like three to one white to green because this green is pretty bright so I'm really going for pastel colors here I wanted to do a, a room that is all candy and candy colored things. So the next color is the purple and this is just the purple color mixed with the white probably in the three to one proportion. So you can see I actually used the paintbrush that I did with the pink with and I had a little bit of pink left on my paintbrush and I decided that would actually be kind of a cool look for it so I left I left it be. So the next layer I'm going to put on these is a mix of the original color, the red, the blue, the green mixed with silver paint and the silver paint is from the Craft Smart metallic silver. Now I was inspired by those resin covered cutting boards that are really popular right now. And I wanted to make a look a little bit like that. So I'm basically just doing some waves of this slightly darker color onto the pastel color. A little bit thicker maybe of a paint. And the silver is going to add it to the color is going to give it a nice shimmer. So then for the purple, I just put it right in with the pink and the silver that was already in the container. And I did the similar thing with the purple. And for 
for the blue, I got a new cup and mixed it with some silver. This I decided to make look a little bit more like waves on the piece of wood. For the green, I mixed it in to the cup with the blue and added a little more silver. And these I wanted to make it look a little bit like, I don't know, trees or mountains. So the next step was a layer of silver paint on each of the pieces of wood. And I'm just doing a really abstract shapes on each of these pieces of wood. Though I am trying to make the silver match a little bit to the shape of the original darker paint that I did. So the next layer is darker either enamel or metallic paint and this is folk art engine red enamel and I have these pink glitters from this glitter pouring paint mix-in kit that I bought in Joanne Fabrics I think it was last year so first I'm gonna paint a small amount of the dark enamel and sprinkle the glitter right on top of it. And I wanted to leave some of the silver paint on the bottom. So this is just sort of a layer in the on the whole piece. And for the purple, I use this Deco Art Amethyst Satin Paint. And these purplish pink glitter. I have no idea where the glitter is from. I bought these at a yard sale in a, in a pack of a few colors. With a similar technique as I did on the red, once I have the purple paint, I'm just going to sprinkle some of the glitter on top of the paint. And you can also see I'm not coating the paint, I'm just doing part of the area that I painted with the darker color. And for the blue, I'm using this folk art ice blue metallic paint and some white glitter. And the white glitter is from Michael's. It's in their Recollections collection and it's fine, but not super fine white glitter. Even with the darker or the metallic paints, I was trying to keep to the original shapes that I had put on with the darker paint. Then for the green, I used the Folk Art Enamel in evergreen and some green glitter also from Michaels in the Recollections collection. So the last two steps where I'm going to take some seed beads and some Mod Podge and put some seed beads on each of the pieces of wood and then I'm going to Mod Podge over the whole thing so that the glitter and the seed beads stay on the piece of wood. 
for the purple, I'm gonna use some of the little purple sequins that are in this mix of Halloween sequins. They're just really fine, clear purple sequins. So I only had this mix of colors for the red, but it happens to have in it some white and red and pink seed beads. So I sort of just pulled out a few of those. Then to stick on the seed beads, I just put a dab, a pretty solid dab of Mod Podge in a place that I thought would look interesting and then just sprinkled some of the seed beads on top. And I did the same thing for each one and for the purple sequins. And then at that point, while this, the Mod Podge for the seed beads was still sort of drying, I started Mod Podging each piece. And once I get to the part where the seed beads are, I'm just gonna make sure they get a little extra coat on top of them to make them sure they stick. And when I'm doing the sequins and the seed beads, I'm sort of dabbing it on. I'm not trying to do a thin coat. I'm trying to do a fairly thick coat on it. And then I'm brushing it on the rest of it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I think the project turned out pretty neat and they're gonna look so cool in my Christmas candy themed area. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.